Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders faced off in a sharp Democratic debate hosted by CNN. Here are the best attack moments from the candidates. 8.41 p.m. The candidates are on stage as Sheryl Crow kicks things off with the national anthem. 8.49 p.m. Lincoln Chaffee introduces himself. Says he is the only candidate who has been a mayor, U.S. senator and a governor. He opposed Bush tax cuts and the Iraq war. Highlights Rhode Island's economic record. In almost 30 years of public service I've had no scandals and I have high ethical standards, in an early jab, seemingly, at Hillary Clinton. 8.54 p.m., Martin O'Malley introduces himself and his family, moves quickly to a heavy focus on economic inequality. Economic injustice threatens to tear our country apart. 8.56 p.m., Bernie Sanders don't he bother with the pleasantries of introducing himself. Our campaign finance system is corrupt and is undermining democracy, he says in coming out swinging on the issues. His second big issue is criminal justice reform. 8.58 p.m., Clinton introduces herself and says raising wages are at the center of her campaign. We need to do more beyond raising the minimum wage, she says. Highlights tax cuts for middle-class families. Only candidate to highlight women's issues, including paid family leave, and gay rights. 9 o'clock p.m. First question is to Clinton about whether she has been consistent on the issues. E.V. been very consistent throughout the course of my entire life, she says. Question, are you a progressive or a moderate? He don't take a back seat to anyone when it comes to progressive issues. I am a progressive who likes to get things done. 9.04 p.m. Sanders cites Denmark and Sweden as models for making the nation more socialist and equitable in terms of wealth distribution. Q. You don't consider yourself a capitalist? Sanders responds by deriding, casino capitalism. 9.08 p.m. Chaffee once again takes veiled swipe at Clinton. You have not changed on the issues, he said. You're looking at a block of granite. 9.09 p.m., O'Malley defends his record as Maryland governor, including high arrest rates in Baltimore. He says they saved lives, primarily poor and black, and says crime also began to retreat. 9.12 p.m., Sanders and Clinton duel on guns. Sanders gets question about his voting record on guns, including a vote to shield manufacturers from prosecution. This was a broad and complicated bill, he said. Clinton says no to question about whether Bernie is tough enough on guns. On shielding manufacturers. It wasn't that complicated to me, she said of the vote. Everyone else has to be accountable but not the gun manufacturers, said Clinton. 9.21 p.m. Discussion moves to Russia. Clinton on Putin. Single quote W we have to stand up to his bullying and says the U.S. has to make clear it is not okay to be in Syria bombing. Sanders calls Syria, quagmire in a quagmire and says he will make sure the U.S. don't get involved. He calls for a coalition of Arab countries to step up. 9.24 p.m. Chaffee takes jab at Clinton for voting to go to war in Iraq, which he opposed. He did my homework. 9.27 p.m. Sanders passes on directly attacking Clinton for her war vote and instead highlights his skepticism from the very beginning. He says he voted to stop ethnic cleansing in Bosnia and to support force under some circumstances. O'Malley says legislators got railroaded over the war. 9.36 p.m. First Benghazi question. Clinton defends Libya invasion and says it prevented genocide without troop losses. 9.39 p.m. Sanders is asked about his conscientious objector status during Vietnam. He am not a pacifist, he says, citing his support for action in Afghanistan. Yes, I am prepared to take this country into war when necessary, says Sanders. 9.51 p.m. Question, do black lives matter or do all lives matter? Sanders. Black lives matter, he says. Single quote W we need to combat institutional racism from top to bottom. O'Malley. Black lives matter and we have a lot of work to do to reform our criminal justice system and to address race relations. 9.53 p.m. 
Clinton takes the discussion beyond criminal justice reform. Single quote W.E.V. got to do more about the lives of these children and calls for a new new deal for minorities. 10.07 p.m. Chaffee explains his 1999 vote against Glass-Steagall, which broke up big banks, prompting the moderator to ask him if he knew what he was voting for. He just arrived in the Senate, he says. That was one of my very first votes. 10.13 p.m. Discussion turns to immigration. Sanders is pressed on his past vote against increasing guest workers. He didn't leave anybody at the altar, he said, citing the poor working conditions of many of those workers. He says he wants a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. 10.33 p.m. Clinton is pressed on whether she has a Washington insider at a time when voters want an outsider. Oh, Mally, our country needs new leadership to move forward, he says. Clinton, I would not ask anyone to vote for me based on my last name, she said. I have the right combination of what the country needs. We can t afford to have a Republican succeed Barack Obama, she said. Sanders says he is the only candidate running who is not a billionaire yet has raised significant sums of money. 10.47 p.m. Sanders is asked how he would compromise with congressional Republicans. The only way we can take on the right-wing Republicans is by having millions of people coming together if we want free tuition in public colleges and universities millions of people are going to have to demand it. 10.54 p.m. Closing statements begin. Chaffee again highlights his background as a mayor, senator and governor. I have had no scandals, and I have high ethical standards, including his vote against the Iraq war. I am a proven peacemaker. Webb, campaigns include a lot of rhetoric and empty promises. His record shows, I've always been willing to take on complicated and unpopular issues, including criminal justice reform. He cites, money that is poisoning our political process. O'Malley, he draws a contrast with Republican debates. You didn't hear anyone denigrate women or make racist comments or speak ill of another American, because of their religious belief. He cites the need to improve education and to include more people in the nation's economic prosperity. He talks about the views of people under 30, and in direct reference to his own youth. Sanders, the U.S. has the highest childhood poverty rate of industrialized nation, high levels of income inequality. Nobody up here can address the major crises the nation faces, unless millions of people begin to stand up to the billionaire class, he said. He makes a fundraising plea for $30 apiece to continue the revolution. Clinton, she cites her late mother, including... The best advice she received that it don't matter whether you're in knockdown but whether you get back up. The U.S. is standing but not running. Her core commitment will be to raise incomes for middle-class families, she says.